Hi guys, welcome back. We're gonna have a look at Flower Shops. And we have featuring Morgan Valens, so I just thought of showing you this song. We've got some nice guitar going on. So let me just break down two parts. We got the verse and we have the chords. And there you have the whole song. So no capo stands hitting. Let's have a quick look at the easy chord shapes out there. G major is the first chord, three, two, open, 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 three. A minor seven, which is mute, open, second, open, first, open. Uh, then we have a D major chord, which is mute, mute, open, second, third, second. But for this song, we I do notice he hits that F sharp bass, so the second fret on top of each one with a thumb, but you still have the D major chord. Uh, then we have a E minor seven, open, second, open, first, open, open. Sorry, open, second, open, open, open. A G major three, two, open, 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 three. And that's it. That's all the chord shapes which you need for the whole song. Now the intro goes like this. So, firstly, let's have a look at the right hand because we're gonna be going for some finger picking style and all. The thumb is plucking the top three strings. The thumb plucks the E, the A, and the D string. So, thumb plucks E, A, D. Index for the G string, middle finger for the B string, ring finger for the high E string. Pinky useless. So we hold the G major chord, we got third fret on the E string, and that's it, rest all open. So we plug the E and B string, then we play open G, then B, then again G. So we got. And then we do, well, then we plug the B string again, but this time we do a hammer on from open to one with the index finger. Let me play open G, B1, then you put a pinky on high E and third fret, hit that once. So we got. Let me plug the E, G, B together. So B1 we still have. Then we just lift off the index. Now we have open B. We plug E, G, B together. Three open, open. Let me play G, then B, then G. And then we do this, which is a slide. I have B1 and D2. I plug the D and B and I slide it two frets up. So it's now three and four. And you can even go and bring it back and plug it in another jam. So the first part of the riff we have. One more time, a bit slowly. back into the same thing what you do for this time is you don't do this light thing we just strum the G major chord and the intro ends and there you have it so that's the intro you end it with the G major chord full G major 3 2 open 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 so we got To the verse one. Uh, it's a beautiful day. We do the same thing. C's been crying all night. You just go to this much, right? And then you go to your uh, A minor seven chord, and you just and I, I notice he just plucks it normally. Like uh, this, not nothing such big and pattern. You can just pluck it normally. So what I did is I plug the A and B string, then G, then B, then E, then B, A minor seven. So just hold the minor seven chord and do this. Another time. And then he goes to the D's with the F sharp on the bass. He sometimes plays second fret on the high E string. Sometimes he likes to keep it open like a D sus two chord. But make sure you hit the top E string and the B string. Then G, B, E, B, G. And just keep on repeating that. This bend has been bending. It's hella bound to break. My baby's had all she can take. At that time, we go to a D7 chord. One dance stroke. It's bit bit open, second, first, second. He does one dance stroke and he moves on to the chorus, which is a bit strummy. So, the verse.
and you move on to the chorus. Uh, the strength band will be down, down, up, up, down, up. Once with every chord. A minor 7. D with F sharp. So we have. Again D with F sharp. Go to G. Once, D. E minor 7 once. So we have, if you cut off the thrones, you can't take no more. So we have. So instead of doing the full strength pattern, I like to go for down, down, up on every chord when we have the G, D with F sharp and E minor 7. So we have. And on the E minor 7, I like to play the full strength pattern, which is up, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up. So the first time. Repeat, I'll buy uh, violets and desis. We play the minor 7 chord two times this time. These with F sharp. Two times. Same thing. Down, down, up, down, down, E minor 7. So I made a small mistake over here. Uh, you've only playing the E minor 7 chord, the string pattern once, but just play it twice for every time. So we got the chorus. Repeat the line A minor 7, twice string pattern. D with F sharp twice. Then G. I'm sorry. Uh, then we have G, down, down, up. D with F sharp, down, down, up. E minor 7, down, down, up, up, down, up. And you repeat that three times. Chorus done, and that's the whole song. So we got. Another time, and that's the song. So I hope this video helps you out guys. Let me know what other song you just want to learn. And if this helped you out, make sure to drop me one of these. Bye.